Hi, everybody, and thanks for joining us in this first-round matchup of the National Invitation Tournament. Let's see how this matchup unfolds between the Michigan State Spartans and the Syracuse Orange. Tonight, we've got an intriguing matchup at the point guard position. Number 23 makes it clear who's the leader out there. His counterpart tonight is also a guy that likes to lead by example for his team. All right, there you have it. Let's get to the action and see what's in store for us. The Orange are facing very tough opposition tonight, Dick. What's the key to them winning? The keys tonight are very simple. First of all, reward your big men for running the court. Get them some easy buckets in transition. Next, take care of the rock. No turnovers, baby. Turnovers only lead to easy scores the other way. And lastly, make your team think defense first. Solid defense will lead to good offense. Well, Dick, let's get this one started and see what happens. Gets it to go. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any opening. Pressure in the basketball. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. Number 30 takes the pass. He buries it. It's the replay, please. Trying to go inside. Picks off the pass. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to feed the low block. Temper when you bring the ball down to the inside. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. Trying to feed inside. Jumps in. Can't get the shot to go. And he'll kick it back outside. He's got a nice shot fake. Rejects it. Gave it up. He puts up the three ball. That's good. He's going to see this guy in his sleep tonight, Dick. He's already living a nightmare, Brad. Look to get it to the inside. There they come with a double team to stop it. He shoots from outside. Off the rim and no good. Number 23 is being praised by the crowd. What a great reception. The fans know exactly how much he has done for this program. Jump hook from the low block. And he missed. Number two gets the pass for the bucket. Perfectly executed. With plays like that, you need instant replay. <laughs> Number 11 is called for the foul. Dumps it in. Looking for the foul. He's typically a good shooter. Yeah, but not tonight. He's got to accept that. With anticipation defensively. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. Look at that spacing. Goes up for two. Do they need a timeout here? Yeah, their poise is beginning to fade. Turns it over. He shoots from downtown. Way off target. The point guard takes the feed. On the outside, they've got a three-point shooter spotting up. The small forward with the ball. 
That's an ill-advised shot. Hey, Brad, their shot selection has been questionable. Too many outside jumpers. They've got to attack inside and then out. Number 23 is pretty fired up and excited. Yeah, no kidding, partner. When you have some success, you start to gain some confidence. for a good shot. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Number double zero gets the ball. He shoots. Syracuse are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they've put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. we got a good one going. Goes. Harm and foul. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that ball. Well, that silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. The Spartans can't get things going right here. Emotionally, they look like they're spent. Hey, if I was on a team, I would be frustrated as well. The team's performance is nothing to be proud of at this moment. He pump fakes. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Off the rim and no good. Pushing that basketball. Takes the pass in the paint. Number five makes a great move to draw the foul. This is the team's first trip to the free throw line. Cashed it in. He gets them both. Controlling the ball. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Down in the low post defensively. Great anticipation in the steal. You can see they did a great job studying in film. They anticipated that ball coming to that post. Steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Lost some ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. There's a double team waiting there. Syracuse. Have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. On the dribble, gives it up. Tries for two. In and out. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. Gave it up. From the top of the key. Way off target. They'll work it around the arc. Nice high post screen. Shots off the mark. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. He 
He's got a high post flasher. They move it into the front court. Trying to draw some contact. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. Now they work it around the perimeter. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. He looks for three. Hmm, that's not a good shot given his abilities. Yeah, I'm not sure what he was thinking there. On the dribble, gives it up. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Syracuse have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Excellent spacing. That's so important with a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. I don't know if you saw it, Brad, but the mask got fired up after the last dunk. I think he wants to play, man. He's all fired up. Put him in, coach. Put him in. Get him some T.O., baby. Get him some time. Give him a chance, baby. The Spartans have a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. And he'll kick it back outside. Got an open look if he wants it. Takes the shot. How many bricks have we seen? Will somebody make a jump shot, please? Moving it around the perimeter. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. I don't know about you, Brad, but when I think of the Big East, I think Syracuse, Georgetown, UConn. Perennial powers in this conference. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Squares up and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Great play to take that to the basket. They work it around the perimeter. He shoots from right of the circle. The Spartans have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Off the rim and no good. Launches away. The Orange have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. And he's on fire. The Spartans have a player spotting up on the three. Here's the big man with a drop step. Oh, he does a phenomenal job getting close position, good angle, and then the drop step. Had him in the post and didn't pass it in. Reverses it with a bucket and off the mark. up for two. Perfectly executed. Double team now. Matt Angle. Shots there if he wants it. He shoots from the top of the circle. All right, let's check in. Third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad, in regards to our player matchup, it's a matter of one guy focusing and taking advantage of shot opportunities. He seems to be making the most of it tonight. All right, thanks, Aaron. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. Tries 
for two. Can't get the shot to drop. From left of the circle, way off target. This is what you're supposed to do down low. Go up strong. I tell you, that was great post play. Clinic 101 on how to explode to the goal. He kept his dribble and used the screen to get the nice look from inside. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Center it, center it. For the bucket. And he missed. Dickey still applying great pressure on the dribbler. Well, that's basic. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He does the sweet fake shot. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. Time to pick up the defense here now. Strips the ball. Oh, what a great job transition. Offense. Basket's good and the foul. That's a big play. He was there when he needed him, baby. That is a great play. These kids have all the momentum now. Look at them. They're celebrating. Hey, Brad, the kids are fired up and having a lot of fun. Number 41 going to the charity stripe for the first time tonight. Strong rebound. They need to get out and run their lanes now. Puts it up looking for contact. And he scores despite the hack. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. On the outside. Top of the circle, they work. Gets up to make the block. The frustration right there. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. Doesn't go. Number five makes the shot. Turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Good athletic move. Very athletic. Has got great athleticism. He intercepts it. Looking to move it around the perimeter. From the baseline. Man, he ran his man right into the screen to get off that nice jumper. Gets a hand in the way. Look at that. That's unbelievable, baby. They work the perimeter. He draws a foul. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. The Orange are a stop away from hearing this crowd go senseless. Coach looks on. Focus, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. 
Nice fake. Looking for a good shot. Pull up jumper from way out. Sinks the shot. Cue the rewind button, boys. Gave it up. For that reason, right there, that's why I love college basketball. Hey, this place is remarkable. The noise is deafening. He wants the crowd to get pumped up. Dick, he is feeling it. He's saying, get up, people. Get up. From three-point range. Off the rim and no good. They work it around the perimeter. My goodness. Players these days in their athleticism, basically jumping up in the air and then deciding what they're going to do. <laughs> I'll tell you, it must be nice. Here's a double team. They tried to double team there, Dick. They were just a little late on the rotation. For the bucket. Can't get the shot to go. Dickie really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. Sets the screen for his teammate. Way off target. And a momentary look from three-point land. Number double zero draws the personal. He goes to the line for the first time. He got it. Misses. He grabs the board. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Loads a three. Off the rim and no good. Opportunity for two for one. Jumps into the defender. That comes off. Might have been some contact on the shot. They're working around the perimeter. Goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. What a terrific job on a defense to beat him on the spot, Mr. Nessler. In the paint. Fake. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the blocked shot. And they come up with a steal. He telegraphed that pass. Working it around the perimeter. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. Can we get him the ball, though? From way downtown. Way off target. At the half, the Spartans are down by eight. Well, Dick, so far we've got a close one. Any play that sticks out to you as the highlight of the half? This does spark the charge for me, Brad. Trust me, they're going to be young men looking to top down in the second half. Second half about to get underway. Let's get out of the action. Syracuse pulled down rebounds left and right in that first half, Dick. That's right. They were beating their men in a spot to grab the lock. That's how you control the glass, man, and that's how you control the game. Dick, it's all about teamwork, and as we start the second half and take a look at our player matchup update, it's pretty even. That's a really great balance out there because you look at the stars right now, they're getting the ball in the right place on the court where they can be effective. Off the rim and no good. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket.
Takes the pass in the paint. Leans in. Too much contact there and knocked him off balance a little. He'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. On the outside. The game is changing, Brad. These days, guys are consistently playing above the rim. They're going to call this one a backcourt violation, Dick. You can't make mistakes like that too often, Brad. And there's a look at the backcourt comparison, Dick. Out there, Brad, you always want to know how the primary ball handlers are doing. Are they getting their team's quality shots, good opportunities? The team which takes care of these things usually is in a better position to win a game. Kicks off the lazy pass. Ball goes out of bounds. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. This defender is resilient. Still applying pressure. They work it around the perimeter. He fouled him. Not a great decision there to shoot the ball. Well, I can guarantee you that he's not the guy they want shooting the ball. Number 11 to the charity line. He misses his first shot. And they can't find the rhythm at the line. I see a lot of them rushing their shots, Brad. He hits it. Third one is no good. They haven't been able to put it in from the line all night. Hey, this is how you win ball games, guys. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Tries for two. Scorches the net. The Orange lead by 11. Looking for a good shot. Trying to draw the foul. Number 11 makes the finger roll. On the dribble, gives it up. Good fake. Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. long distance way off target now the turnaround jumper can't get the shot to drop for the bucket and off the mark Perfectly executed. Replay of the night, baby. <laughs> Takes away the pass. Gave it up. In the paint. Number 11 is called for the defensive foul. Second team foul. the foul line terrible free throw these kids are really struggling from the free throw line tonight I hope they can turn it around before it costs them the game 
Well, the arc looked good. The free throw line is really doing a number on this team tonight, Dick. Well, you know, don't blame the line, Brad. It's just laying there. These kids just aren't knocking them down. I tell you, they're getting free ones tonight and not making them count. He shoots from right of the circle. Syracuse are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Looking for contact. There's the trap. Wide open for the shot. I think they're trying to make a statement. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Post flashes. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Nice shot. On the dribble, gives it up. There they come with a double team to stop it. He nails the bucket. The Spartans are behind by 11. Intercepted. Tries for two. I love the sky hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. Kicks it out. Nick, he's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Steals the pass. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Controlling the ball. Let's it fly. He's taken too many unnecessary shots, Nick. And he's costing his team their rhythm. And the ball goes out of play. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover there. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. Gave it up. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you gotta get help because you gotta see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. Here's a flash from the post up high. Three. He nails the shot. Looks like the defender's a little bit tired out there. This is no time to be tired. Get a sub if you need a break. He wants a three. He's not even looking for the open man, Dick. They might need a quick T.O., baby. Picked out of the air. On the dribble, gives it up. Full court pass. out of the air. And he'll kick it back outside. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays it where he gets good close position. So he's able to get the ball. A good rebound position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately to block out and get good rebound position. Top of the circle. Oh, yes. For two, in and out. Jumps in. Up and in.
He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Secures the board. As soon as you get that defensive rebound, you should be looking to push the ball. Picks off the pass. Looking for a good shot. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting the good inside angle, a poor job defensively. No help. I mean, that is post play at its best. Gets the rejection. Can't get the shot to go. On the outside. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, guys, the battle in the paint has played a major factor in this game and is probably some of the reason why they have this lead. If things don't change in a hurry, this game could get ugly, guys. Thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you, Aaron's exactly right. Post play is essential if you're going to be effective. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. And he missed. Contact on the shot attempt causes the misfire. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Number one comes in for his first go-around tonight, Dan. I'll tell you, the offense doesn't miss a beat when this guy comes in. It's the first. Doesn't miss that opportunity either. He bombs from outside. Off the rim and no good. Fires away. Screen was there, but the shot didn't fall. Good spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Fakes it. I sometimes wonder what it would be like to be a Skywalker. Elevating and throwing it down, Mr. Nestle. How much fun would that be? Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. They work it around the perimeter. Looking for the foul. He puts it in with contact and all. Number 23 steals the ball. Tries for two and in and out. Gave it up. That spin move's not going to work against the defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. He takes the three, way off target. For two, can't get the shot to drop. He gets it to fall. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad, the player matchup has been our focus tonight, and he's been effective because his teammates are finding him in the right spot, and he's knocking down all his shots, guys. On the dribble, gives it up. They go inside, and now back outside. I'll tell you, inside-outside action always works. For the bucket, 10 seconds to get it off. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. Oh, right, right there. They missed him inside. You got to get the ball when a guy is open. That's a special mark. Feet in the post. The offense is having a hard time finding the open look. Great defense. 
with the fake. Up and inside. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Makes the foul shot. Two at the charity strike. Goes up for two. No. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Double team now. Bad angle. From the top of the key, he buries it. <laughs> Tries for two and off the mark. Picks off the pass. For two, up, easy one. Gave it up. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. They get it out into transition. Take it away. They work the perimeter. Goes for the deep one. Off the rim and no good. Get that ball movement, get that good spacing. For the bucket, rims out. Working it around the perimeter. In the paint. Trying to draw some contact. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. The dribble gives it up. The shot from the baseline. He can't get the bucket to fall. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. This should be an easy two from the top of the key. And he misses the shot. Shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. Picked off. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. The lay -in. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Takes it off him. the perimeter gave it up stolen change in possession the defense knocked it loose then went and got it in and out now they work it around the perimeter goes up for two sweet looking shot he is super he really is Pushes it up. The fake. He puts up the tray. That's good. Roll that one back. Hey, this crowd will be ecstatic if they can get a basket. He puts it up. He nails the shot. Tries 
shoots for two. Can't get the shot to drop. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. He shoots from left of the circle. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. He misses from long distance. Transition opportunity coming up. He missed on the steal. That's going to be the offense's game. Yes, sir. They got the advantage right there once he misses that gamble. Here's a double team. Steal. Timeout's call. Timeout's not on their side right now, Brad. They need some big shots, baby. Some game plan changes, Dick. You never know what's coming, Brad. That brings the lead to eight points, Dick. But eight points doesn't secure a win at this point, Brad. Looking for a good shot. For two, the Spartans have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Jumped in front to take it away. Number 11 is trying to get the crowd involved now. Well, he wants the crowd to get up for this defensive possession. That spin move's not going to work against the defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. They'd like to get it inside of the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in and a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. The point guard handles the pass. On the outside, the point guard handles the feed. Well, Dick, it looks like they're going to spend a little bit of time fouling right here. Wow, Dick, let's check out that State Farm drive of the game. Hey, what a great move, Brad. He was able to find an opening and finish at the basket. That's a great finish. Highlight material, baby. Stop for the foul. Well, Mr. Vitale, there's the foul situation so far. Hey, Brad, staying out of foul trouble and then the stretch of any game is final. You want to keep your opponents off the free throw line and out of bonus situations. Second shot, good. They need a basket here to turn this into a two possession game. Timeout's been called. Check in with Aaron. Well, guys, this is a great opportunity for the coaches to calm their teams down. With this much time remaining, they're stressing play smart basketball and take care of the ball. All right, Aaron, we're going to watch that the rest of the game. Looks like we're ready to step back out onto the court. Shot clock is dead. He unloads a three. They're punishing the rim with those misses from three-point land. Yeah, Brad, no one seems to have found the touch. Well, Dick, the shots seem to be dropping for him right now. Well, I'll tell you one thing. They're dropping, and you better have good productivity out of your front court. When you have that balance inside-outside, you got a great chance to win. And you have to have post players that are going to make big plays. second they call for a T.O. Dick hey time is their worst enemy at this point Brad they're going to have to bear down and get some stops then convert at the other end See what they set up, Dick. For the deuce. 
He's making just terrible choices shooting the ball. He's got to settle down, man. Settle that cat down. On the dribble, gives it up. Dick, we can talk about matchups all we want, but really it's not just always a one-on-one -on -one matchup. There's a lot of guys out there contributing. I'll tell you one thing. The team has really responded as a unit, and they're taking advantage of the abilities of their stars. Syracuse found themselves in a heck of a battle before pulling away at the end. They kept it close and ended up pulling off an upset. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler. Good night, everybody.